Hi there, we are racing again and I'm really happy about it because we had a uh, long winter lockdown and now we can start racing again. It's really good. As you can see, it's nice sunny weather and a bit cold, but we still have grip. We are at Silverstone National. It's short but very nice track because it's so wide that you can follow many different racing lines. Will be fun, yeah. Uh, actually, I already qualified and uh, it didn't went so well. We had a mechanical issue, uh, some problem with the throttle or fuel to air mix, I don't know. We have this thing for a couple of days. We are trying to locate it. It's coming forth and back. We are replacing some parts, trying to find it. But yeah, it appeared again dur during the quali. I'll put a piece of video so you can hear it. Okay, I'll work with what I have. I'm starting, I think, 17th out of 20 drivers. So we'll keep you updated. We're on the 1.64 mile national circuit at Silverstone, the northern end of the Silverstone campus this weekend. Six turns, a little bit of elevation, but generally pretty flat, but lots of great racing that it produces. And it's another glorious day at Silverstone. It says cloudy there. It's true, there are clouds in the sky, but the sun is beating through. No rain in the forecast and a little bit cooler than yesterday. Top temperature of 12 degrees. Yes, the only single seater racing action of the weekend here at uh, Silverstone. About to get underway and is the Swallow Hill Homes F1000 Championship. They have a triple header this weekend, a race today and two more races to come tomorrow. <laughs> Underway and it does so now and away they go. Moving in the background, which suggests we may have lost somebody. Um, yes, who it is, I couldn't tell you. Uh, we're going to find out now. They're a long way it's off the road. Uh, Nikita Abramov. I thought it might be. That's the TSR run car. Okay, so I started 17th and I started not too bad, I think. I was fighting with the guys, I was trying to find some speed. Uh, I got a couple of positions, I guess, uh, but after a few laps, maybe five laps, engine just decided not to go any more further with me, so I had to retire. Guys will open the engine to tell what happened, but just not my day happened, I think. Okay, tomorrow we have two more races, and I hope the new engine will be in car by then. We'll see, hopefully we can start tomorrow. Okay, keep watching, I'll tell you everything. Well, new day, new opportunities. Guys did great work overnight, building the car together. And uh, now hopefully I can start, of course, from the back, from 19th place out of 20. But uh, it's still something, we are racing. See you. Nikita Abramov, he retired 
uh, he had an engine issue. That's been fixed, so he is out there. <laughs> Start, bit of jostling, a few check. There, the number 69 car, Ed Fulton, has just gone through shot at great speed. He is up into 12th position now. He was forced to start this race from the back of the grid as well, so that's good progress from Ed Fulton. Anyways. That's Rob Bailey under pressure there from, I think that was uh, Nikita Abramov in the TSR car with its uh, engine having been fixed after yesterday's race. We're now pretty much at the halfway mark of this race, eight laps complete. that almost side by side between Nikita Abramov and Mark Betts tries to get through but doesn't quite make it on this occasion. So these F1000 cars, if you're seeing them for the first time, if your ears are working, you will have detected that they use 1000cc uh, motorcycle engines, all of the chassis uh, built by uh, Northamptonshire Company, which is uh, Jedi Racing Cars, as Rob Bailey goes wide and I think he'll lose a position to Nikita Abramov there because of that, so Abramov will go up into 13th position, he did some uh, uh, rally cross, uh, cross country rally I should say, and rallying in, in Russia before he's uh, did some rally cross in the UK and then racing in this country. Bailey get that move done, it was a good fight back from Bailey uh, out of Beckett's and down the Wellington Strait, but Abramov now has made that move stick in the uh, TSR car, so he does indeed. Patch of cement just there 
uh, as he crossed the start line. And Bailey, number 33, has got back through Matt. So really good dice between these. I was going to say two cars, but actually there's three or four <laughs> of them involved. We'll wait for them to appear. There they go, side by side. And it's the number 55 car, which is going to get through there. So Nikita Abramov goes through. Uh, number 33 tries to do the switch back, but doesn't quite get the run. And further back from them, two cars side by side, which is Mark Betts and Billy Styles. So fantastic racing. All of this, four positions outside the top 10. As fighting back is Robert Bailey on Nikita Abramov. So uh, they're not lying down in this one. They really are putting up a great, great fight. Uh, for these places, as we said, for uh, 13th on backwards. But this is fantastic racing. By the way, as we're watching this battle between uh, Bailey and Abramov, uh, the gap down to 1.3 seconds because... <laughs> We're watching this battle, which Mark Betts is now trying to buy into as well. Bailey in the yellow car, Abramov in the grey and orange TSR car. It's the uh, Mark Betts number 88, the Tim Gray Motorsport Roam car, uh, just behind as well. Three and a half minutes to go. Sorry to say about that, but uh, he's definitely pushing hard. That was amazing race, so close, so many fights. Well, that's really impressive. I hope I can do better uh, next race because uh, this time we had, we still had some minor technical issues with the power. I think it's a misfire, so I don't know. Uh, we are still dealing with it. Uh, I hope next time I can do better. But yeah, it's nice. I got, I think, five positions. I started 19th and finished 14th. Uh, but next race I will be still starting from the back because, uh, you know, I was fighting the whole race and couldn't set a clean lap uh, and the grid of the third race is based on the best lap of the second so I'm starting only 17th but I still hope for a good race you'll see it right now Swallow Hill Homes F1000 Championship cars coming out onto the circuit for their third and final race of the weekend. Let's of course, these 1000cc motorcycle engine single-seaters all built by, uh, by Jedi Racing Cars, a, a local company 
uh, to Silverstone F1000, the latest iteration of this championship that, uh, in one form or another, has been running for more than 20 years now. Final few cars coming into position. We'll have the uh, flag waved at the back, and we get ready for this 15 minute race. <laughs> side action which is going to be the form of this 15 minute race as well. Morgan with, by the looks of it, right front damage. TSR car of, uh, of Nikita Abramov. There you can see the stricken Lee Morgan car being being passed. Falkingham in one of the uh, JFK run cars. He makes his way out of Luffield towards the right-hander at Woodcut. That was a bit rough, obviously. Yeah, but still we had a great racing, good fights. Uh, maybe I was a bit too pushy, a bit too hard, was, but Eddie was defending like, like Lion. That's why we like racing. Yeah, 
uh, I should learn from this and do better next time. Uh, next time will be at Donington Park, I guess, in a couple of weeks. You will see it. See you there.